Hi there, I'm Kevin Cox and I'm here to represent Fox Rage and Selmo. Hey guys, I'm Daniel Brackley. I'm originally from Zimbabwe, I now live in England, rugby, and I represent Rapala VMC. My name's Adrian Mason, also known as Eddie Woodchucker on social media. I live in Wakefield in West Yorkshire and I fish for CWC. BFT and Stripe Pro Europe. Hi, my name is Dan Bucknell. I'm from Yorkshire, which is in the north of the UK, and I'm representing LMAB. I'm Ryan Dabbs. I'm from near Boston in Lincolnshire, and I represent Predator Tackle. To be honest, I've had no training whatsoever. I've had a few competitions on the go. I've had Lake Challenge, uh, Predator Tour, and then I've had a week's worth of night shifts, so I'm coming into this green. It's been quite warm, so training has been tough this year. I hope I've found some good spots where there's some good fish sat, so fingers crossed they're still in the same spots tomorrow, and yeah, we will see how that goes. Training's been tough. Training's been very tough. We've got a lot of fish kills where we are at the minute. We've got more chub coming out than perch and pike. So perch-wise, not massive, but mid-30s, which could be really good with a double-up point. But the top water fishing is what I'm looking forward to. My training for this was Difficult to say the least. I haven't done any pike training really. I know hopefully where I can find some. I don't think they're going to be big fish, but I can find some. Perch training was a nightmare. Catch lots of little ones, but the big ones, I don't know. We'll wait till competition day. You never know what's going to happen. It's been hardest training because of weather conditions, it's been really warm. I've had to hone on a few different techniques, especially Texas rigging for perch. It has been hard, I'm not going to lie to you, but I've found a few fish and I'll be okay. That's an hard one. I think uh, Kev Cox is, is dangerous because Kev Cox is a, a top match angler. Dan Bucknell probably because he fish, he's fishing on waters local to me. I know all his spots as well, so he's a little bit closer to the area so he can fish him. Uh, those two are going to be dangerous, I think. It's be hard not to look at Kev Cox. He's just won two really big competitions here in the UK. Uh, the other guy, oh, I'll probably go with AD. AD's quite good on the perch. He'd done a nice video last year and caught some donkeys. So yeah, Kev and AD, I'd say the ones to watch out for. From my group, I think Kev Cox and Dan Brackley will make it to the next round just because they're seasoned tournament anglers and they really know how to work well under pressure. Dan was one of my concerns and Kev Cox is one of my concerns. After a little bit of talking, there might be one or two others that might be a little bit of an upset. Definitely Dan. Dan's heading back to his local canals and yeah, he's very confident. Big pike, big perch. I don't know, I think everybody else is pretty even Stevens. It'd be pretty close for the second place in the group, if I'm honest, but I have Dan as hot favorite. I think the seven centimeter finesse fillet craw is what I'll catch most of my big perch on. That's what I'm banking on getting a lot of 40 centimeter perch on. Hopefully they're biting on that. Z-Man pop shads. Surface bait, five inch pop chads in red bone, the best bait for perch on top. Perch wise, which is what has been the hardest thing for me, it's a different technique, I'm a, I'm a boat angler. I would say that probably uh, pigs to tail's done really well for me. And pike wise, smear his mouse, it just catches fish every single place I fish it. You're going to see it, I haven't used it in this competition at all. I haven't done it in any pre-training because I know how deadly it is, I don't need to even practice. It's that good. Well, I've got two baits really. The Pro Shad should catch me my pike, hopefully, if not the Super Slick Shad. And my perch fishing will mostly be done on a spiky shad. Uh, it normally gets me a few fish, whether I can find the bigger ones, but a spiky shad. Obviously, my reliable pito is going to play a massive part in my fishing, but I've got two lures that I'm going to also focus on is my surface lures, the new Rapala pencils, and the new prototype bait that we've just got coming out is most probably going to be a key. Me? No. <laughs> um, I think overall, it's probably going to be Kev or Tom. It'd be very hard to separate them two. Again, I think it will be, it was highly likely to be Dan. I think he's got a, a really good venue. I think Chris could give him a bit of a run for his money. He's also heading back to local, local venues. So um, yeah, keep an eye on those two. That's a tough one. To be honest, it, it all depends on what venue fishes better and how it fishes, especially with the conditions that we've got at the moment. I'll leave it open. It might come from group B, maybe. I think Chris Bartle, the ginger fisherman, will win the whole tournament. He's got an amazing river that he fishes 
almost every day. So yeah, he can get some really good fish easily. I will win it because I am the eye candy of this competition. Justin Sherman's not in this one, so that Truman said, can you come and do it? So I'm here to win it. I'm not messing about. I have experience more than these guys, and now I'm out to win it. Simple. <laughs>